Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a British romantic drama film from 2011 titled Weekend. On a Friday night in Nottingham, Russell attends a house party. He doesn't talk much when he's there. When Jamie asks about his life, Russell reluctantly tells him that he got a promotion at work. Russell leaves early, arguing that he is tired, and wants to rest because tomorrow he has to work. He assures Jamie that he will be there on Sunday for Jamie's daughter's birthday, but he doesn't come home, and decides to go to a gay club for a hookup. This is the life he never talks to his friends about. He meets Glenn, an art student, and he agrees to go home with him. The next morning, Russell makes coffee for Glenn. Glenn then coaxes Russell to speak into a voice recorder about the previous night, for an art project. Their conversation begins with how Russell felt when he first met Glenn at a gay club. Russell admits that Glenn is too handsome for him. He followed him to the toilet, but Glenn left him for another man. Then Glenn came back to see him, only because the man he was after was with another man, thus making Russell his second choice. Their conversation is cut short by a homophobic man screaming outside. Glenn opens the window, and the man starts mocking Glenn. But Glenn goes against the man's words. Russell doesn't want Glenn to provoke the man, because one day he will throw bricks at his apartment window. Glenn doesn't care about what happened. Russell laughs because he is amused by Glenn, daring to fight the man. Then they continue their conversation. Russell tells him they return to his apartment. He offered Glenn a drink, though he couldn't remember much. Then they kissed in the hallway, and made love. When Glenn begins to talk about his sexuality, it makes Russell uncomfortable and ends the conversation by admitting that they had a great time together. They exchange phone numbers, and look awkward afterwards. Outside Glenn meets the homophobic man, but he doesn't care. Meanwhile, Russell writes about Glenn on his laptop, something he does after each of his encounters. Russell spends a lonely morning working as a lifeguard. He texts Glenn, who agrees to meet. During his lunch break, Russell notices one of his co-workers who is very comfortable and open talking about sex in front of everyone. Later on, Glenn and Russell walk together and learn about each other. Russell says he enjoyed his job, and he had been on the swim team in school. He also shares about how he had saved people from drowning in the past. Meanwhile, Glenn talks about his job at the art gallery, and Russell admits that he doesn't really like art. The two share a bicycle ride back to Russell's apartment, where they continue discovering more about each other's pasts. Russell thinks that talking about sex is uncomfortable for him. He tells him about sex stories he heard from his co-workers. Glenn replies they are different because they are straight, while gays still have a hard time talking about sex, because they feel ashamed about who they are. Russell asks if he wants to be an artist, and asks about his art project. Glenn explains that his art project seeks to explore the gap between who people are and who they want to be, as demonstrated by the personas they assume when hooking up with someone for the first time. He is still having doubts about his art project, but Russell convinces him that he will definitely come to see it. Russell reveals that he never came out to his parents because he doesn't know who they are, and he grew up in foster homes with Jamie. They grow closer, and they end the conversation by making love. Before leaving, Glenn discloses that he is moving to Oregon the next day to attend a two-year art course. Russell is surprised, but he feels that this is a good opportunity for Glenn. Glenn invites Russell to his goodbye party at a straight bar that night, and Russell decides to attend. Later on, Russell receives a call from Jamie. He asks him to hang out, but Russell can't because he is going to Glenn's party. Jamie asks about Glenn, and Russell tells him about his meeting with Glenn, and he apologizes for lying to him, but Jamie doesn't mind. On the way to Glenn's party, he overhears a homophobic conversation, and makes him feel uncomfortable. Russell finally gets to Glenn's party, and meets Glenn who is happy to see him, as he doesn't expect Russell to come. Glenn introduces him to his friends, and they drink together. While Glenn gets into an argument about heteronormativity with the bar owner, Russell chats with Jill, Glenn's roommate. She tells Russell that she never got to listen to his recording, and Glenn let her listen to all of his others. She then tells Russell that she and her friends don't expect Glenn to travel to America, 
to the point that they started a bet. She also discloses that Glenn was in a relationship with someone named John, who cheated on Glenn repeatedly and was attacked at a park shortly before the relationship ended. Since then, Glenn has said he doesn't do boyfriends. Glenn then meets with Russell, and asks him to kiss him, but Russell says he can't do it there. Russell and Glenn ditch Glenn's friends and go to a carnival. Russell asks if his friends are okay if they leave without saying goodbye. Glenn replies that he doesn't like saying goodbye. Russell likes to hang out with Glenn's friends. But Glenn says Russell thinks he enjoys hanging out with gays just because they have something in common, but in reality they're not what they seem. He then asks about Jill. Russell doesn't mention what Jill said, and he just says Jill is a great friend, always supportive and understanding of Glenn. Glenn knows if Russell is lying, and admits he feels like his friends hold him back. They arrive at the carnival, where they are having fun in a bumper car. After that, Glenn opens up about his past, where his friend found out his secret, and told everyone about it. They return to Russell's apartment and smoke marijuana, drink alcohol, and snort cocaine. Russell confesses that he records his experiences, albeit more privately. He reads some of his entries to Glenn, and it is revealed that one of the men Russell slept with was John. They begin arguing about the motivations for the fight for gay marriage given Glenn's anti-relationship stance. Russell tells Glenn that he thinks Glenn only lost faith in relationships because of John. Glenn tells him it is not that simple. While he thinks Russell would make an amazing boyfriend, he doesn't currently want one. Russell is upset and goes to the bathroom. He returns and they reconcile, passionately making love that night. On Sunday morning, Russell reveals how self-conscious he feels in public about being gay. Glenn deduces that Russell keeps a record of his encounters because he is fascinated by how people come out. He then pretends to be Russell's father, giving Russell the opportunity to come out. Glenn notes that he is leaving by train that afternoon, while Russell has Jamie's daughter's birthday party to attend. Russell searches for the right way to say goodbye, but Glenn leaves after kissing him. At the party, Russell attempts to stay interested, but is clearly distracted. Jamie persuades Russell to talk about what is on his mind, though they do not usually talk about this part of Russell's life. Russell finally tells him about Glenn, even though he had only seen him for two days, but he felt connected to Glenn. After Russell explains, Jamie takes Russell to the train station, where he finds Glenn. As the two wait for Glenn's train, Russell struggles to convey how much their encounter meant to him. They kiss in public, notable for the usually restrained Russell. Glenn gives Russell a present, and with one last kiss, Glenn leaves. Later on, looking out from his apartment window, Russell opens the present to find the voice recorder that Glenn used to record Russell. He hears himself begin to recount the events of the weekend. Russell, a young gay man, picks up Glenn at a nightclub. They have a one-night stand but realize they share much more than that. They spend a weekend together trying to figure out whether or not they can turn this into something real. This film is sincere attempt to catch what it's like to fall for someone. This is the rare love story that has real emotional truth about it. The acting here is simply amazing from both leads. Gay issues are touched upon and some good points are made about gay men in today's society. Nothing here feels forced, real chemistry between the two leads, and there is a naturalness about the acting and dialogue. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.